Hey guys, Fishock here. I'm here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Y. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things that would include meeting up with Professor Sycamore and having a battle with him. And <laughs> that's pretty much all there was last episode. There was nothing much of importance. And now in this episode, we're going to be heading towards the final city of Kalos region. Snowbell City. Now let's cross this bridge and hopefully... What the heck? Oh, hey, Shauna. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna say yes, because I'm a yes man. We're going to battle. Okay. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Anyway. We start with a Delcaddy, and I start with a dragon. Not really a dragon, it's more like a. <coughs> something. A wavering. There we go. Okay, Oblivion Wing, and see how much damage this does to it. A whole lot. <laughs> Let's see. Charm, that lowers our attack. We might not need that. Because another Oblivion Wing is going to send it down. Down into the depths of the Pokeball. Okay, you got a Gudra. Let's send out our dragon. Uh, <clears throat> it's to be back on my grind again. I mean, I had like three or four days where I had no videos up at all. Mostly because I was trying to finish up on a, a book I was reading. Yeah. It was a really good book. Hunger Games? Oh, yeah. Good book. Especially when I already saw the movie, I pretty much know what's gonna happen. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go starter versus starter and get this over with. So how much damage a water shuriken does. Oh, not a whole lot. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. It, it would have taken more than five to to knock out a Delphox anyway. And you're out. <clears throat> Should be one more Pokemon left. I have to guess. It's. I really don't know what the, our last Pokemon is. Alright, everybody's leveling up like a boss. Oh, she's out of Pokemon. Okay. Slurp. I uh, just finished up on some melon flavored ice cream. That's. Mm, ice bars are so good. Oh, it's Trevor and Tierno. Hello. No, what the hell was he doing? He's like getting ready to have a fist fight, or like ha he's like half ready to fight, half ready to dance. <laughs> you know, Talon Flame coming out. And I'm coming at you with a Develtal. I don't know why I keep staring at him like that. Not a problem. You're almost done, actually. Let's give it a foul play. And we didn't even get a burn from it. <laughs> no burns for me. Crawdon. Crawdon, Crawdon, Crawdon. Crawdon. I always like to say Crawdon with like a French accent. Like Crawdon! <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur Crawdon! I 
that's a wow, that thing takes a fist pretty well, actually. How about another fist? Hmm. Rosary, let's go for Charizard. Go for Charizard. And as a special treat, I'll give it a big old Mega Evolve. I like that bridge. <laughs> the scene on the bridge, that's really... That, that's epic right there. Not not to offend him, but his fat really defines him. If not anything, <laughs> he's really <laughs> his fat. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not making jokes about fat people. I have no problem with them. Okay, three three for um three battles in a row, not bad. Okay. <laughs> He's got a straight face on him. He's got a oh gosh. Alright you. Uh, I gotta figure out how to approach this. Uh -huh. dog pulls. Why not? Uh oh. Oh wow that the oh oh Can I take you out of an oblivion room please? Oh jeez that thing does damage I'm not able to heal off all my HP. That's just sad. But again then again things happen. Everybody's getting close to level 60s here. Fluorgus, that would be a... <laughs> In my head, I'm saying psychic type, but... In all that actuality, it's a fairy type. So... I have no Pokemon to counter a fairy type, so I'm just gonna go with the best. Give it a big old surf. Which literally doesn't do anything. And confide just lowers our power by a whole lot, which is not good. Aerial Ace. That does major damage. Hmm. Misty Terrain. Not gonna be not gonna be a problem to us. You're done. I wonder how you're supposed to negate Misty Train. That's what I want to know. Hmm. Aerodactyl. I'd rather keep out because Aerodactyl is fast as hell. If not anything. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That just got me confused. Why did I use, um, that move? Yeah. <laughs> okay, water shuriken. And that does good damage. So like Aerodactyl has little to no defense at all. Yeah, but a jaw like that, how could you not be based off of pure attack power? Yeah, I've seen people use, like, Aerodactyls and, like, Wi-Fi battles, and those things are fast as hell. They're not Wi-Fi battles, um... Like, Battle Mason. 
which brings me back to yesterday. I, I went up to like a 43 win streak before I lost to like a veteran with full legendaries. I'm like, are you kidding me? I lost. The worst part is I lost to a freaking Verizon. Like, on a whole, Gyarados would be able to knock it out, but apparently he got burned, and when I wanted a critical hit, it did not give me a critical hit, so I lost. I hate that so much. The way we got Waterfall. Mm. Okay, everybody's running back. And I'm just here chilling. Let's keep going, and why not teach Waterfall right now, actually? Let's see, Waterfall. Only Ninja can learn it. Dang. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, I guess it's definitely like that. Uh, I, I took away water shuriken because that's it won't be of use right now. Anyway, head through here and in three, two, one. We're in Snowbell. Oh yeah. And we made it within 10 minutes, too. Alright, let's give our Pokemon a big old heal and talk to the creepy guy in the corner over there. <laughs> Perfect camera angle, too. <laughs> that is just what we needed. A little uh, side view of the uh, guy who's doing stuff in the corner over here. Hey, dude. No. You're gonna give us... Uh, capture power. Right? PowerPoint restoring. Okay, that helps. That actually helps, actually. That actually helps, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, let's head to the gym. Oh, hello. That part I actually know where it is. Cause I did trial and errors and uh <laughs> I got lost somehow. Oh, there's an item over there. Let's quickly grab that, slide down. One over here, don't fall into there, okay. For restore! Pretty much worth. <laughs> Definitely need it later on. We're getting so close to the end of the game. I'm so excited. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, he just talks about how well Jim Lear walks into here. So let's go. One thing to note, this forest is just like some forest that I know of in some other Pokemon game. Uh, no, it wasn't a forest. It was, um, it was, it, it, get my words together. This area is just like um, Wayward Cave in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Where it just goes on repeatedly. <laughs> like, you enter one room, it goes on repeatedly if, until you use a different room. Or, like, go into a different room. It's very annoying. But unlike Turnback Cave... I just noticed that I was talking about Wayward Cave, which is the one under the, um... Wayward Cave is the one under the bike, bike route. And, um... Turnback Cave is the cave where you find Garatina and the Distortion World if you're playing Platinum. Wow. That took a while to talk. Anyway, this course is just like that. Only... Well, there's, there, there's actually one section where it repeats itself. Here we go through the same doorway, but here's the catch. Catch is, there's a, tri there's a trick to it, to where you go through the door and it puts you back in the same area as before. But if you go back through the same door, it puts you in a different area. 
That's a trick. And I'll show you that in about... E about two minutes, maybe. Okay, uh, is it this way? These caves are very confusing. I know that's not that way. I think it's this way then. Uh, down here, there's a little clearing with a door on the other side. Or like a walkway, never mind. Uh, is this the place where we want to be? Yeah. See, if you go through this door, you wind up back on the other side. But if you go back the other way, haha! Look at that. We're in different. We're in a different area. Now, does it work that way? Oh no, we're back in this in this area. I think it's in the other area that the trick works as well, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Ooh, sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh no, we scared him. We scared everybody away. Dang. Pokemon Village, every Pokemon lives here. La yada yada yada. It's a really great place because you can find a Zoroark here. Yep, we want to challenge you and claim that final badge. See ya, dude. Anyway, let's go walk around and see if we can find a Zoroark. Nope, a Gothita. Or Gotharita. You seem good for, um, for a little HP sapping. And... Oh, no, almost out. Almost knocked out. <laughs> He'll block right after Oblivion Wing. Well, thanks for the HP. Gladly appreciate it. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds very cruel to me. <laughs> Wait, why are we walking back when we can just fly? <laughs> Alright. Heal up our Pokemon another time and a second time. And that should be good going. And oh, I just remember we're low on health items. Let's go buy some max potions actually. Uh, 12 of those. Four stores. Oh, we're good on those. Let's see, we're vibes. Just by one. No, I'm not done yet. Max repels, we're good on those. Full heals, we're good on those. Okay, we're done anyway. And if I remember correctly, this is TMs. Nope, I was wrong. There are certain cities where they sell TMs, like in. Black and white, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead in here. And up the big staircase, and there's the big man himself. Oh boy, we're going to love this. Yay. 
the ever so annoying Rubik's Cube esque puzzle. This really, it really actually, it actually functions like a Rubik's Cube. You have to find the, you have to find the, the parts of the, uh, the cube where you have to align them correctly, and you can go places. Wow, words. <laughs> uh, let's go for another Oblivion Wing. Snatch all you want, because I don't have any um, health, health boost. I wish there were health boost moves. Uh, moves that boost the um, stats. Butt health. I wonder how overpowered that be. Like, having mo Pokemon moves that boost up the, uh, the player's health. I mean, not the player, I mean, like, the, uh, the book on itself. That would be, that's actually overpowered. And I'm not talking about, like, healing items at all. I'm talking about, like, like, moves that increase the, uh, the health points of a Pokemon. But no, I don't think Game Freak would do that. It's too overpowered. Besides, health is, like, the major, major point in battling. That's what keeps us. That's what keeps a Pokemon up in battling, up in uh, on its fiery grind. Anyway, excuse me. That seems to be a good. Ch no. Now, trying to find a pathway that leads to. Okay, right here. Freeze right there. Wow, puns. <laughs> that one actually... That one actually got me. <laughs> freeze right there. You guys, you get it? It's an ice-type gym, and it's cold with freezing icicles everywhere. I'm just gonna stop right now. In the meantime, I think I need to switch out Pokemon, maybe. Yeah, I, I would suggest switching out Pokemon for like Lucario or something. Because Lucario can actually face well against against Ice types. Not Mamoswine though, because Mamoswine is an annoyance. Yeah, I've seen competitive people use Mamoswines with uh, Focus Set. It's really annoying. I think. Excuse me. I think there's like a 5% chance where a Mammal Swine I, I battle does not have a Focus Sash. Captivates, no thank you. And Tyranno's up level 61, everybody's going up great. Uh huh. Okay. Let's do one more. One more again. And there we go. Hopefully it doesn't have the... Yeah, it does. Crap. Oh, wait! We can just swap this. No. We need that one that... No, that puts it back to the, to the beginning. There we go. That's what we want. Now we can move up to the next area. Hmm. Okay, green is the most logical way. It sucks. We have, we're forced to battle everybody here. Uh, I'm just going to skip these battles. Alright, I decided to skip both battles, and now we're back onto the puzzle solving grind. Anyway, adjust that to there. Let's hope it's not blocked off. Yay. Okay, shift this over. And we seem to be done. It really doesn't matter which way we go, as long as we go up. And let's go ahead and uh, talk to him. <laughs> Belly slam. Alright, here we go, the fight for the final badge! I 
starts off with an Abomina Snow. I start off with Lucario. And that actually rhymed. While off camera, uh, a couple of my Pokemon learn new moves like um, Lucario learned Dragon Pulse and Phantom Force was for um, Eveltal. There we go. And for time being, Power Punch. And I actually used up all my um, close combats. Cause I got really annoyed with that, with the uh, the other battle, the where I cut off the video. It, it the, yeah, I was right to, I was right to cut the video right there, cause it took way too long. Cause that Cryagonal, man, that Cryagonal confused the all and started spamming recover, and I got really angry. So I just fisted every ice type to pieces. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. Let's just make a Evolve Charizard, because I don't think Kyriujin would need a power up right now. Reason for that? I want to get rid of this hail, because it's so annoying. Goodbye, hail. Hello, sun. Just imagine Charizard's ability actually melts the entire gym. <laughs> I can just imagine that happening. And let's give it old Tyranno a good rollout, even though ice types are strong against dragons, because dragons don't fare well in ice cold temperatures unless you're an ice dragon like Kira. Let's give it old Quake. Which doesn't do anything, despite it being a critical hit. Not good. Crunch. Still nothing. Uh-oh. Whoa, that damage. You gotta take it easy, man. Jeez. Wow, that thing's not doing anything. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for stab moving over Dragon Claw. See how much that does. Not a lot, actually. Uh-oh! Okay. Sun's faded, so... Uh, I was planning on bringing back Charizard anyway. Say hello to more sun! And I want you to say hello to my little friend after you heal. Okay, now say, say hello to my little friend. Boom! Alright, we got it! We got the final badge! Final piece. And Team 13 Ice Beam. Why not teach that to Ninja, huh? Whoa. Ho oh, ho, look at that. That is crazy. Man, we slide it out with style. That is so fun. I feel like doing it again. And one more. <laughs> this is so fun. But we won't be we won't be able to do that again since this is only a one-time thing. Anyway, 
head on out and what the heck? Oh hey! Oh and what's up? And it is now and the only thing I have to do is head off to the Pokemon League. Alright, thanks Wolfric for the uh, words of encouragement. And oh shoot, there's the 3DS. Try to readjust it. There we go. And uh, we're gonna go back and heal up real quick. And after that, we're going to be heading off. Now, Victory Road's gonna be a long stretch, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the Victory Road bit to like about two or three parts, so. It's gonna be labeled like Victory Road Part 1, Part 2, whatever. Anyway, and uh. Well, before we head off into that direction, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and the commentary. And if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe for more content. I'll be sure to push out more videos like these and possibly different content if I have the chance to. Above all that, hope you guys have a nice day and peace out.